Okay, uh, now this is a, an addendum that I guess go, I suppose goes with uh, partly with this one uh, or a correction anyway in here in this video it's talking about the 386 and I made a change on the wiki page one of the wiki pages about the 386 and I made a mistake uh, not not with, with with the change so much as um, well not with the change but this thing with the signature and uh, when I was back on wiki let's see I had another message uh, Let's get to any wiki page. That signature did, I, I put my signature along with the edit and it did, it ended up on the page. Mm. Okay, so this will explain to me more about how I'm supposed to do this signing. Uh, but um, I want to keep this, this page alive. Now, how, how do I get to where I was? The, 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 someone can't, reverted the edit, and then um, then I asked why they reverted it, and uh, uh, in, during the discussion of that, maybe the, here, he mentioned that I, that I signed my name on the page. And I couldn't figure out how to, how to respond. Eventually, I... And uh, I can't even remember now how I did. Well, it must be on here somewhere. Yeah. So here I explained well, why I made the change, and I I thought that it shouldn't have been reverted. And then he said, uh, first off, you left your signature, and the article and didn't leave it here. Well, I, I don't know how to put something here. Uh, I'm sure. But uh, I, I did get this on here, but on a completely different page where there was only one place to enter something. Not, none of this other stuff was in there. But somehow it got in here. And so then now uh, he changed that to uh, he changed the link back to uh, change the text to the uh, what do you put it here? I put debug register register debugging, which is still not exact exact. The, 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 the phrasing, the form of phrasing is correct. Um, <clears throat> Maybe you could say register level debugging, but that's not right either. The, the correct phrase is what it was, hardware debugging. It, it's, um, the, the meaning of hardware debugging is uh, that uh, a, a programmer can ask the, the processor uh, to assist them in, in debugging under senior, you know, abnormal, in a configurable way, think of it that way. You can configure the, the processor to, um, to throw a, an exception, um, in a, you know, in a way that you choose. Before that, um, all you had was, um, 
you know, you, you could put an int three somewhere and cause the uh, the processor to go into single step mode. Uh, Or, and that's about it. I guess you just had in three, you know, whereas this is much more configurable. We have those hard, those debug registers, which allows you to say, you know, uh, I want a breakpoint. Uh, I want uh, to be called back when this happens, access violation happens, or if uh, uh, a read from this memory location occurs, and so on and so forth. Uh, no, that's not, but uh, this is okay, it's, that's fine, I mean, it, it's in the right area and it'll go to the right point. But now I'm trying, trying to look at this, uh, and now I think there's a mistake on this page, because, you know where I said I should go through and at least do a once over with, with these offsets and, and these names, which I retrieved from this table. And I came up with, it, it was all matching up until, well, which one is it? I changed here. Activation context stack. 1A8. That was correct. It was 1A8, right? But is now it, it asserted on this line. This this wasn't a match for this. Spare bytes. Okay, now that's supposed to be 24 bytes. This is supposed to be 18 bytes long, but 1A8 plus 18 is not 1BC. It's 1BA, see? So either there's a hole, but I don't think that would that would come up as unused. It would, this is supposed to be a contiguous list. If it weren't a contiguous list, then you wouldn't have you wouldn't find any unused block. So I think there is one, at least one. Uh, well, there's this unknown, right? So there's four bytes here unknown. Now, if if there would be no reason to put that in there if, if we weren't <coughs> if we were just to take it by offsets, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure I I know I put there's reserve here. Although there's more information about that than the reserve. The reserve. Well, I'm not sure. But anyway, I can test this because uh, if, if you call this function RTL set thread error mode, it should go into FS colon something. If it, is it going to be 1FC plus 4, or is it going to go to F28? So this is something we can test, and I'm going to try that right now, and I'll get back to it, uh, back to the video. Well, I don't know. The, uh, the answer is, uh, all of those functions mentioned in here, well, this function, is that error mode, uh, it's not mentioned in, in any of the header files I have. It does exist. But I can load it up from NTBOL, which I did. And um, RTL set thread error mode. And I called it. And I was looking at the code. Here's some code from Wine. Wine, the uh, emulator. Supposed to emulate uh, NTTLL. Here's their that code, pseudo code or code for the function. Uh, it, apparently, it takes a, a D word and pointer to D word 
We have pair here, one of the previous value, and we turn to status. We can check the status. We probably should. <clears throat> and apparently, uh, I'm going to get a success unless this is true. So, actually, I can test that. Zero. I don't know if it's defined anywhere. Oh no. It's the same. This status anti uh, status success is the same as the window 132 success status, which is zero. I just happen to know other experiments. It's not. What is it? It is. Uh, okay. In hex. C something E F. Now I wonder if that's. I think those are the same as the stat values in NTTL. I win in T dot A. That is the thing. Oh, yeah, it's just for access. Just for access violation. This is what here. Yeah. Uh, probably not have it. This doesn't list all of them. You need to get the uh, download the SDK, the NT SDK, which has all the declarations and the statuses and everything. Uh, are these meant to be like, no, say one, two, three, four? They're not. Uh, it's not a bitmap. Part of it might be. Certainly, C on the top is an error, and that that's an error. And I don't know what it means. Well, actually, I wonder if it should be. Uh, there's only one possible error according to this invalid parameter. That's, I've heard of seen that before in the head of files. Here. Uh, the include directory. But there's also a Windows invalid parameter thing embedded in CF. So I don't know. This either. They say that, that, that remember that, that this thing was supposed to be platform dependent this struct I guess that's what they mean <clears throat> because it says um, some of the variable slots have different sizes sometimes 8 instead of 4 for a pointer of course now that's and it says only 32 bit window so sometimes I guess uh, there are 8 byte pointers even if it's 32 bit windows, um, there might be just, I guess, uh, for like forward compatibility, some of the pointer values are 8, eight byte. There's 8, eight bytes reserved, uh, so you can use it in either case, I guess. Oh, here we go. C00D. 
Oh, empty status value. Hmm. Okay, we will find it in here. What was it? E F. E C P. E E C E D E E E F. There it is. Status invalid parameter one. Exactly as it says here. So I got that. So this is not the condition. So the mode is no good. Okay. So I think the end is um try to find a better mode than than fire. Let's try one at a time. Just want to see where it goes. Everything is lining up now with the <coughs> table and wiki <coughs> provided that one, the one that said 18 I changed to the 20. This one activation context there. Said we're not to here. So let's see if one works. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess this is new here. Same environment. So that's no good. And the value. Just keep going. We should do this in a loop. Setting it and then I set it back. One's not good, the other one's probably okay, but it's not like that. So I'm gonna start at two. Uh, I'm gonna try. I can do while that. Uh, status success should be another headed file. Doesn't have it. You just you're supposed to know that it's zero. NQ success with macro. Hmm. I, I know it's zero. I'm sure it's zero. So new mode, create mode. This gives me zero. This gives I don't know if it gives it. I don't know if it'll No. Well we can check. That should if if it succeeds that should go to zero. But if it doesn't succeed, it's undefined. No, I want to set. I'm going to break here. I want to set. 
the current load back to preload. Sorry, I want, yeah, that, that's correct. So what I received as the previous load, I want to put back as the current load. And um, well, new load is on. It doesn't matter where I put here. New mode will be a mode that succeeded. And if uh, the article is correct, that should appear. If this is lined up correctly, should appear there in my strike. Question is, if I just let this run, is it ever going to get here? Oh, it did. That 10. Okay. Uh, and the previous mode was 0. There it is, 10. So that is correct. But what I did was I just changed this to an array of 3 in the article. Um, okay, so two changes. That thing went back, but of course they say that these numbers are not. I don't know, I don't think I should touch this. I already made one mistake on Wiki, I don't want to make another. This is correct. This address is correct. These, they, these ones in are trustable, uh, or else that wouldn't work. And um, now, what is that done? That should be done. Now, if, would this have affected my thread local storage value with that array. Okay, <laughs> now we have to check check to see if that still works. POS uh, slot 16 is still correct. So that didn't change that. It's funny, huh? I added another two bytes and it's still in the same spot. So the all those errors I added to I don't know I don't know it's at the correct address though so previously it was at the wrong address and it's still getting the same correct result because of this alignment I guess. All right. Well, so there you go. There's a. If you want, at least, if you want that table on Windows 7, uh, you know, version whatever version I've got, then uh, that's the struct. Yeah. Modifications from Wiki. Activation context stack is 20. Not 18 de uh, decimal. This has absolutely no effect on uh, this array or that uh, on this array. Okay, well, just an update.